What is consciousness? This question has baffled philosophers and scientists for centuries. It is a profound mystery that lies at the heart of our existence. How does a collection of cells, the human brain, give rise to subjective experiences, thoughts, and emotions? Traditional neuroscience offers compelling explanations, pointing to the intricate workings of neurons and synapses. But what if our understanding of consciousness is incomplete? What if the origin of our inner world lies beyond the confines of our three-dimensional reality? Some physicists, like Michael Pravica, propose a radical idea. Human consciousness might originate from hidden dimensions beyond our perception. This controversial theory challenges conventional thinking and opens up exciting possibilities. Could the universe be far stranger and more wondrous than we ever imagined? Michael Pravica, a physics professor at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, has spent years pondering the nature of consciousness. His background in physics, a field that grapples with the fundamental laws of the universe, led him to a unique perspective. He posits that the answer to consciousness might lie not within the brain itself, but in the very fabric of reality. Pravica's hypothesis centers around the concept of hyperdimensionality, the idea that dimensions exist beyond our everyday experience of length, width, and height. This concept, while seemingly abstract, is rooted in theoretical physics, particularly string theory. Could these unseen dimensions hold the key to understanding the elusive nature of consciousness? Pravica's theory suggests that our conscious experiences, our thoughts, emotions, and sense of self could be manifestations of interactions within these higher dimensions. This radical idea challenges us to expand our understanding of both the universe and ourselves. It pushes us to consider that the reality we perceive might be just a sliver of a much grander multidimensional existence. The concept of hyperdimensionality might seem like something out of science fiction, but it is a serious area of inquiry in theoretical physics. String theory, one of the leading contenders for a theory of everything, proposes that the universe is composed of tiny, vibrating strings existing in a multidimensional spacetime. Imagine a tightrope walker moving along a rope. From our perspective, we only see the walker moving back and forth in one dimension. However, an ant on the rope experiences additional dimensions. It can move around the rope's circumference, experiencing a second dimension. Similarly, string theory suggests that we might be limited in our perception of the universe, confined to our three spatial dimensions. These higher dimensions, curled up and hidden from our view, could be where the true complexity of the universe unfolds, potentially harboring the secrets of consciousness itself. Pravica's theory stands in stark contrast to traditional neuroscience explanations of consciousness. Neuroscience focuses on the physical processes within the brain, mapping neural networks and studying the electrochemical signals that govern our thoughts and actions. From the neuroscience perspective, consciousness arises from the complex interplay of neurons, synapses, and neurotransmitters. It is an emergent property of the brain's intricate network, much like the wetness of water emerges from the interaction of individual water molecules. While neuroscience offers a compelling narrative, it doesn't fully address the subjective nature of consciousness, the what it is like to experience the world from a first-person perspective. This is where Pravika's theory offers a tantalizing alternative. Could it be that neuroscience, while mapping the physical correlates of consciousness, is missing the bigger picture, the source of the conscious experience itself? Section 5. A Theory Met with Skepticism As with any radical scientific theory, Pravika's hypothesis has been met with its fair share of skepticism. The scientific community by nature demands rigorous evidence and testable predictions. Proving the existence of higher dimensions and their connection to consciousness is a daunting task, one that pushes the boundaries of our current scientific capabilities. Critics argue that Pravica's theory lacks empirical support. While string theory provides a theoretical framework for hyperdimensionality, it remains unproven. The lack of direct evidence for these higher dimensions and their purported influence on consciousness makes many scientists hesitant to embrace this unconventional view. Despite the skepticism, Pravika's theory sparks important conversations about the nature of consciousness and the limits of our current understanding. It encourages scientists to think outside the box and to consider possibilities beyond the established paradigms. Whether or not his theory ultimately holds true, 
It serves as a powerful reminder that our quest to comprehend the universe and our place within it is far from over. Section 6. Visualizing the Invisible, a Dimensional Journey To grasp the concept of hyperdimensionality, it can be helpful to use analogies. Imagine a two-dimensional being, a flatlander, living on a flat plane. This being can only perceive its two-dimensional world, unaware of the third dimension we experience as height. Now imagine a three-dimensional object, like a sphere, passing through the flatlander's world. The flatlander would only perceive a series of changing two-dimensional slices of the sphere, first a point, then a growing circle, then shrinking back to a point. Similarly, we might be like the flatlander, unable to perceive the entirety of reality. Higher dimensions beyond our three spatial dimensions could exist all around us, interacting with our world in ways we cannot yet perceive or comprehend. Our consciousness, according to Pravika's theory, could be a manifestation of these interactions, a glimpse into the hidden dimensions of the universe. Section 7. Bridging the Gap Between Science and Spirituality Intriguingly, Pravica's theory, while firmly rooted in physics, resonates with certain spiritual and religious beliefs. Many spiritual traditions posit the existence of realms beyond our physical reality, realms often associated with consciousness or the soul. The idea that our physical bodies are merely vessels for a more ethereal essence, residing in a higher plane of existence, finds echoes in Pravika's theory. His suggestion that consciousness originates from beyond our three-dimensional reality aligns with the spiritual notion of a soul or spirit transcending the material world. While Pravika's theory does not provide scientific validation for any specific religious belief, it does offer a fascinating point of convergence between scientific inquiry and spiritual exploration. It highlights the limitations of our current understanding and suggests that the universe might hold mysteries that bridge the gap between the scientific and the spiritual. Section 8. A Skeptic's Rebuttal Challenging the Unseen Stephen Holler, a neuroscientist at the University of California, Berkeley, remains unconvinced by Pravika's theory. Holler argues that invoking higher dimensions to explain consciousness is unnecessary and lacks parsimony. He maintains that the principle of Occam's razor, the idea that the simplest explanation is usually the best, favors the neuroscience perspective. Holler points to the remarkable progress made in understanding the brain and its functions. Through brain imaging techniques and meticulous studies, neuroscientists have made significant strides in mapping neural pathways, identifying brain regions associated with specific cognitive functions, and even manipulating brain activity to alter behavior. For Holler, the onus is on proponents of hyperdimensionality to provide concrete evidence. He argues that until there is a way to directly test and falsify the theory, it remains an intriguing speculation, a philosophical curiosity, rather than a scientifically sound explanation for consciousness. Section 9. The Limits of Perception and Technology One of the main challenges in proving or disproving Pravika's theory lies in the limitations of our current technology. We have instruments that can peer deep into space, unraveling the mysteries of distant galaxies, and tools that can probe the subatomic world, revealing the building blocks of matter. However, detecting and measuring higher dimensions, if they exist, requires a completely different level of technological sophistication. Our current scientific instruments are designed to operate within the confines of our four-dimensional space-time, three spatial dimensions plus time. To truly explore the realm of hyperdimensionality, we need to develop new tools and techniques, perhaps even new branches of physics. Until then, the existence of higher dimensions and their potential role in consciousness remain firmly in the realm of theoretical speculation. Unlocking the Secrets of Consciousness Despite the challenges, the quest to understand consciousness continues. Advancements in quantum computing, nanotechnology, and AI offer glimpses into the future. These technologies could revolutionize our understanding of the brain, mind, and universe. Quantum computers might simulate complex brain processes or model higher dimensions. Nanotechnology could create sensors to measure phenomena at the quantum level. We might one day develop tools to test Pravika's theory. We might uncover the true nature of consciousness, whether from our brains or a hidden universe. Until then, the origin of consciousness remains 